is a 24 hour gaming extravaganza. Tabletop Live Network is a monthly streaming event featuring all of your favorite board game content creators joining together to make a super marathon stream full of excitement and celebrating everything that is board games. TLN Twitch streamers focus on high chat interaction, making a fun, welcoming environment for all to come enjoy games together. Oftentimes they play games with the chat, show off the newest, latest things that are going on. Hey everyone, happy Hello. TLN. I'm Jess. I'm joined by my lovely partner, Not Gus, aka David, aka Gus or Not on in the chat. And uh, thank you so much, Benita, for the raid. Uh, hope you all are having a fantastic evening wherever you are. Uh, thank you so much for um, joining me today as we close out TLN weekend, friends. We are the closer. That's right. If we were a wrestling duo, we would be called the closer. I, I don't know. Ooh, Maybe. would there be a lot of clothes lining? There, yes, lots of clothes lining. Uh, maybe us actually like putting clothes on a line, like because that would be because we're all about puns here and like making silly jokes. So you've been closed. You have been closed, everybody. Uh, so yeah, let's say hi to folks in the chat. I see Phantom is hi, here. Hi, folks in the chat. Baker Meeple's here. Panda's here. Joe Sondow is here. Legends is here. Slivers is here. And greetings to um, Bims Five Ten. Greetings hey, to Dem Deadpan and Tech. And Games of Fire, and everyone else that came over, and Benita, thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate it. And Bram, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's awesome to uh, be able to finally kind of like bring an end to another wonderful TLN marathon weekend. Um, yeah, I but am. The night super is not stoked. over. There is one more game to go. There is one more game to go. Yeah. Am I going to, like, I feel like I'm going to be in, like, this wrestling mood now like, and be like, yes, this is my turn. Can you smell Jess's cooking? <laughs> I'm going to be playing this game and rolling my dice. Awesome. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's not going to be good for my, not going to be good. We might need a lot of hydrate checks if she's going to be doing yeah. uh, that voice. Yeah. Uh, Joe Sondo says, Dave, I got those hacks you ordered. Yeah, not necessary anymore, Joe. Uh-oh. Is that is there a story behind this? We're doing a little Burgle Bros on BGA. And, uh -huh. and my character had a rough go of it. <laughs> Just going to... We had one of the worst setups I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. And I was just stuck. I oh could, my gosh. I'm like running around on the safe in circles going, I can't move, I can't move, I can't move. So Joe is trying to... Save you? Save me. Oh, that is too funny. That is too, too funny. So it didn't it didn't go so hot. Oh Sorry. Sorry, Joe. Sorry. Sorry, Quaid. <laughs> Quaid. I'm, I'm waving Quaid to Canada. Is... Sorry. Sorry, Quaid. Waving to Canada. Sorry, it's Canada. <laughs> north, right? Sorry, Canada. <laughs> too, too funny. Uh, is that tonight's hashtag? That is... Ha oh, sorry, Canada. Sorry, Canada. Yeah, we... Well, there's a oh, lot Canada of... Oh, Canada waved back. There's a lot of things. <laughs> Canada's up in the sky like in heaven. <laughs> that is totally fine. And friends, I am looking at my phone because I am entering you all into the giveaway. Some of you have been sending me the whispers like you're supposed to because, yes, friends, I am giving away a copy of The Artemis Project courtesy... <laughs> Yeah, courtesy of Grand Guild Ga Grand Gamers Guild. That's a mouthful. Thank you very much, Grand Gamers Guild, for your generosity yes. in sponsoring this giveaway. That's really cool. Yeah, we are super, super glad that uh, you all have offered to give us the chance to give away this awesome game, which has been around for a couple of years. And we actually picked it up at um, Gen, Gen Con, Con in the before times. Yeah. So this has been uh, something that has gotten to be played quite a few times, I will say. Um, and but why are we playing it right now? We are playing it right now because I am doing Space Timber. Space Timber. Everyone. 
Uh, there have been lots of space themed games that I've been playing all month here on stream. So I thought it would only be appropriate to have my TLN stream incorporate both what I'm doing regularly on my channel and here for TLN. So it's kind of like a nice little like full circle thing going on. So the yeah. Space bookend. The space bookend. Bookends. The closer of space. Yeah, you go. The closer of space. I don't know why I keep wanting to if sound If you get like... closed in space, can anybody... Can anybody hear you? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. So... But the Artemis Project is a really, really fun game, as you all will see. And Grand Gamers Guild has put out some good stuff. And they have a... They have an expansion for this. Yes. So there's going to be an expansion coming out, Satellites and Commanders. And that is uh, currently on Pledge Manager. So you all can um, check it out. I should have posted the link to it, the Pledge Manager. Um, let me go ahead and do that while I am thinking about it because it would only make sense for you all to be interested in this game and then take a take a glimpse on their pledge manager to order yourself an expansion and even get this game as well because this game is just fantastic uh all by its onesie and uh and just like tonight where there can only be one winner there can only be one winner of the giveaway true so yes. the rest of you unfortunately will have to purchase if you like it but i highly recommend it it is a blast yeah, and so I will do this. I'm going to make a nice little Moobot command so I don't have to do extra stuff. And yes, friends, I see there is a lot of you adding to the chat. I appreciate it. I will get to you in just a moment. I am just going to uh, put this into the chat as a Moobot command so I don't have to keep pasting it all the time. Um to get yourself a copy of this here. And oh my gosh, do we have another raid? Is it there looks a raid? like we have got another raid coming in. So awesome. Heart Board Games, thank you so much hey, for joining Heart us. Board Games and friends. Welcome in, everyone. I am just, you know, flying by the seat of my pants today, but it is closing time. <laughs> closing time. <laughs> So I am in my mid 40s. So closing time was a big deal for me when I first started being able to go out to the places that had closing times. Um, so we sang that song. It wasn't. Was it a karaoke thing for you? No, I'm not a karaokeer. No. Ka Karaokeist. Yeah. The the one who karaokes. Um, but you know, you get a few imbibing things and you start singing. So. Uh, closing time became an anthem of telling us to go the heck home. But you couldn't stay there. Right. Right, because doesn't it say you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here? Exactly. So. But it, you're all, you can go come here. Right, you can so, all come here. And it's closing out. time somewhere. But, but not here. Not here. Well, it is, because we're the closer. Oh. <laughs> Do we just confuse everyone? <laughs> but y'all can still stay here. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, so friends, if you want to enter into this giveaway, I'm putting in the link into the chat so you all can see what is happening if you are interested in getting yourself a copy of the upcoming uh, expansion, as well as the second um, edition, a second lot product in the line for Artemis Project called the, Ode the Artemis Odyssey. Um, so that is currently in the Kickstarter universe happening right now. So I think... But the giveaway is for the base game. Correct. Correct. Um, and I guess full disclosure... Yes. Uh, the copy will be sent out early next year. Is that, that is correct? correct. So it, it will be part of when they get the print ready. Um, yes. So you are winning right now. But it's like you've just entered into a Kickstarter without paying future. stuff. It's for the future. So you'll have a nice gift coming at some point in your future, and it'll just spring up and make you very happy. Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah. So keep entering. What do they got to do to enter? 
They've got to be a, a follower of my channel. They've got to send me a whisper on Twitch with the keyword Jupiter. Jupiter. And why is it Jupiter, not Gus? Do you know why? Yes, because this game is set on Europa, which is a moon of Jupiter. Yes, Jupiter has three moons, I think. I think it's got three moons. I know nothing about space. <laughs> but space is cool, everybody. I know a lot about Canada. Space is cool. You know it's up there, like in heaven. Space is up there, like in heaven, everybody. But yes, so... Um, yeah. The, uh, the game is set on Europa, moon of Jupiter, whisper Jupiter. Into the chat. Into the chat. And not into the chat. Into my whispers. Not into the chat. Because if you whispered it into the chat, I'll, I might miss it. But also whisper into the air. Whisper into the air as you're typing it into a whisper for me. And then I will whisper a response back to you. So weird. <laughs> and then we will all have whispered together collectively. And it will be all a fun thing. I like whispering. Um... Got it. A whisper party. Exactly right. Yeah. Whisper party. So. It's the quietest of parties. It's the quietest. But we might we might just go long for, you know, because who knows? We don't. There is a, not going to be an after party after this. So we can play as long as we want to. Uh, we can play if we want to. If Canada's up, we're up. Exactly. Not Europe. No. <laughs> if Europe's up, we're up, Europe. You were up, Europe. Oh my gosh. That that could like borderline could be bad. <laughs> What's up, Europe? Uh, the whisper closer. That's right. That's right. Uh so yeah, well, I'm, I'm getting so that's why I'm looking at my phone cuz I've got this handy dandy little um spin the wheel thing for everybody to enter into the giveaway. Uh, so there we are. Keep sending those uh, whispers. Keep following. If you're not a follower yet, you should be a follower because Jess is awesome. I'm a little biased, but I think the chat will back me up on this, that Jess is a very awesome person who we are all very lucky to know. So follow her and be part of the whisper party. Part of the whisper party. Vote whisper. Vote hashtag whisper. Are we, we're just going to have all these like random inside jokes and then people that are going to be watching the VOD are going to be like, what is happening right now? Uh, yes. And, and thank whisper you, Jupiter uh, to Jess. Yep. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's how you do it. Thank you, James. That's the magic word. Soften your razor. You've got it. I see you. I see your whisper here. So I think I have everyone in. Uh, but feel free to keep sending them yeah. as as we com as we play, everybody. Uh, Hornus, I think uh, Phantom just got that chat command in right before you did, my friend. So. Uh, feel free to uh, pop in your whisper. Oh, I think you already are in here, Hornist. I think you are already on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Getting these last couple in here. Da 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 da. I mean. Yeah, that Gen Con, there was a few misses that we had when we bought some games, but yes. this one... We that were, was This one was not a miss. It was so. not a miss. We were very excited about it. Yeah, it was my very first Gen Con, my very first, like, giant convention that I went in, that I got into, and it was one of those conventions where Not Gus was like, here's the list. You don't have to get everything, but if you do get everything, I'm not going to complain. So... Bring a second suitcase. Bring a second suitcase. Uh, figure out how to pack boxes into boxes. And you're going to come home with a lot of board games. Uh, so there we go. So yes, I think I'm just double checking everybody's stuff here. 
And this I game is great. It plays one to five. So there's a solo yes. mode. And for those times where you have that five player game that you're searching for, this one does it. So that's a great range. Yeah, I agree. Well said, my dear. Well said. Yep. All right. So everybody's in. You would love to see this magic Tetris box packing. Well, solving your razor, it is, it is a skill. And I want to say there's a lot of people um, that have learned this skill from the mistakes that they've made in previous travels. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we came into this whole hobby a little, a little later uh, than a yeah. lot of folks. So we, we got to learn a lot from yeah. what folks had done. Yeah. So, okay, so I've got, I've got everybody in. Feel free to uh, keep sending those whispers in if you haven't gotten a little confirmation message from me. Um, but for now, let's get to the game. Let's play a game. Here we go. Do you want to play Bloop. a game? So this is the Artemis Project. And, oh no, Legend says, for my first Gen Con, I threw away my socks and underwear for more games. Oh my gosh. Well. Respect. Yeah. First of all, mad respect for you, Legends. <laughs> Secondly, underwear and socks are actually perfect packing materials to, like, put around game boxes so that they don't, like, bust the corners or they don't get kind of, like, smashed on top of each other. So it's, like, nice padding for everything. Um, I learned that as well. And so if you have things that are like balled up or crinkled up or like you can roll like t-shirts into like nice long tubes, uh, you put those in there too. <laughs> Hopelessly used one. Pack my jeans and shirts around it. Yeah. So it's, and then you can also like tuck things inside the boxes. So like I, some of the inserts for the sub game boxes, I was like, see ya. I, I ditched those. So that way you had extra space and you can pack games inside of games. And then you got to punch them because all those right. punch boards, that's just cardboard wasted space. Right. Like you can double up games right. inside once you. So I do remember at this year's Gen Con, I remember going into Panda's room and it was me and Panda and I think Phantom was there and Tate Wu and we just had like a stack of games from Panda and we were like. Bloop, 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 Like, just punching out pieces and bagging things. and just punching and whispering. Yep, that's all we did. The closer. <laughs> all right, we are we are seriously going to get to this game now. Um, I would like to play a game. You would like to play a game. Okay, so in this game, friends, it is a dice worker placement game, meaning your people's... Your abilities are based on the five dice that you will be rolling every round and collecting resources to fulfill certain um, expeditions that you're going to go on, completing different events and things of that nature. Um, how this is going to work is at the beginning of a turn, we're each going to roll our five dice. Put them up here in our player boards and you will see the player board has a few sections in it that you will be get, gathering your resources and things of that nature. So we've got toolkits, which allow you to manipulate the die by changing its value, one or one one pip per uh, toolkit, either up a value or down a value. It does not wrap a die, so that means a one cannot become a six, and a six cannot become a one. Okay, so we all start with one toolkit. We have three energy. Uh, energy are used to... Uh, gather more recruits and people into our shelters, which actually we each get a pioneer to start with. So we have four different types of meeples that we can recruit. This one here is called a pioneer. Would you mind gathering the other four colors or the three colors so you can see? Yeah, I got to get them out because we got to set up the academy. Okay. Too. So there are um, purple ones are called the stewards. stewards. Then we have blue, which are engineers. And then we have red, which are marines. So all of these different uh, people that you're going to be recruiting, little meeples and things, allow you to do certain stuff, activate certain buildings and things of that nature. But we each start with one in our shelter. 
Um, so basically the story behind this game is we are on the plant, the moon Europa and we're, we're gathering resources and things to, um, I think see if it's inhabitable or something like that. Yeah, so we found that the ocean, so you can see the board is kind of divided into two main chunks. There's the above ground, which is just an icy, snowy, freezing hell. Yeah. And then there's the below ground, which is the ocean, which they found to be warm and uh, full of life. And so we're setting up our base to try to stabilize this as a place where we all can live. So we each run a team of what they call stabilizers. Yes. And that's to okay. uh, create living, uh, exploring, mining facilities and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, all right, Slivers, have a good night. Thank you so much for Bye, hanging Slivers. out. Okay, so we've got our different meeples that we are going to be gathering. We have our toolkits, which manipulate the die. We have energy cubes, which allow you to recruit um and actually like maintain so it's like feeding your people so the energy cubes can be used to feed your people Gotta keep them warm. also can be used to activate certain buildings depending on what buildings you get and, uh, and just another resource and then here we've got minerals which are the same things in terms of you use the minerals to uh, turn into purchase buildings as well as there are some buildings that need that uh, activation and things of that nature so uh, how this is going to work is we are going to have these resources. We're going to roll our dice, and then whoever has the start player token, which is our little, um, what do you call it? Snow cat. It's a little snow cat. Little. The little machine with the big treads and everything. Little rover in it. Uh, we are going to truck our way uh, by placing our die first. So how it's going to happen is there's different areas on the board where you can place your die and die give you different things. So here in this area, if you place a die, whatever pit value it is, you either get one toolkit or two toolkits. And remember that allows you to manipulate dice. Here it gives you the energy cubes, which will will activate here for whatever our current excursion is going to be. They will gather our energy cubes here and they will be different every from round to round. Here is where all our minerals will be gathered and how dice placement works, friends, on some of these that have multiple spaces in them is you will place it starting from the left and going right. And when a round is done, when we have placed all of our dice out on the board, they get resolved from left to right. However, multiple people can place their die on the same location. So for example, if Gus put his die, his three here, and I wanted to put my four here, my four is actually greater than the three, so it actually would go here. So his die would resolve first before mine, meaning he would get that number of energy cubes based on the number of pips on his die, and then I would get however many there are either remaining or completed on my color pip die itself. Hello, Lady T, welcome in. But if you had a two... But if I had a two, it would actually push Gus's die over to the right and mine would get resolved first. So whatever's the lower one would actually get resolved first and placed. So there's a little bit of strategy that goes into placement as well as when you place your die. Because sometimes if there's if there's more than let's say let's say there's like eight eight or nine um, energy cubes here and he puts his three here, I'm pretty safe to put at least a three four or even five because I will be guaranteed to get the leftovers. Um, now we could put many die of our same color one at a time though on each turn and it goes back and forth. Uh, so we could put multiple die in the same resources, but they would just get resolved from left to right. So that's the energy cubes and the minerals. Up here, if you want to flip over the two buildings, my dear, we will have buildings that we can purchase. Buildings will get purchased based on the number of pips that you place on that certain building itself. You will pay the cost in minerals, okay, which are these blue ones. However, you can get outbid by someone if you get outbid. Let's say Gus put the five there, and when we go through and resolve everything, he would actually have to pay five minerals 
for that building. And then instead of me just losing out on a building, I actually go up this, what is it called? The relief track. The relief track. And as you see here on the relief track, there are certain numbers of things that you get. So if it's like, even though you might've gotten outbid by something, you can still get a bonus in a sense. So for example, if since I got outbid there, I would move up one and then, then I would get two toolkits right away. So there's a bit of a consolatory prize, consolation prize Correct. if you weren't able to get anything. And the same is true in these two. If there was only four or if there was only three energy cubes and you took I all take of them. all of them, then just as Di gets her nothing, she gets to move up the relief track. However, if she gets at least one, then she doesn't because she got something with her die. Right. So if I got at least something from my die, I don't move up the relief track. But if I don't, then I would. If you get nothing, yeah. yeah. Then there's consolation. Then here we would have oh. the... Um, oh, you want to show me? Oh. <laughs> so we would have... What is this, uh, I, this area called? This is... The like... Landing. The doorstep. The doorstep. So this so, is the entrance way onto Europa. So everyone is is um, arriving in Europa to hopefully be a part of this expedition and things of that nature. So every chance we get for, um, we add to this uh, placement of people. We actually, instead of having a draw bag, we have a shake ship. Everyone, which is so great. Yes, that is right. It is a cardboard. Shake ship. Shake so ship. You, get, you shake it up and you pour things out. So for right now, we're going to do four. Four. It's player count plus two. So I'm going to shake out four here. Put in that fine. sentry back. So there we go. The shake ship has been shaken. Shake ship. So we will add to it. And if no one gets purchased in around those remain, and then we add more to it. Um, then and purchasing sounds real bad. We, we recruit, right? Okay, like, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> sorry. There's no, per these are. No, these are willing participants yes. in this game. Uh, so how this will happen is we recruit them based on whatever number die that we place here. Same thing, resolve from left to right, but however many of them we recruit is dependent upon the number, the die face on where our, will we place our die. So if I placed a five here, and then that would mean I couldn't recruit up to three people. When I recruit a person, I must pay two energy cubes for them. So it would go from my supply, and then it would go into my shelters or onto a building if I had the ability to do that. Now on the buildings, you will see certain colors. Those require certain types of people to be placed in them. There are some buildings that have empty squares. That means any any type, um, of, recruit. type of recruit could be placed there. Uh, so that's what those do there. And then finally here we have the academy where there's certain number of blue, purple, and red folks that are there. And it has it so that when you place it here, whatever number recruit that you want, you must place that corresponding number plus an additional person from either a building that you already own or from your shelter. So the cost, instead of paying energy cubes, the cost would be to recruit. So you're basically putting in a recruit to train them to be a different department, in a sense. So, all right, legends, sleep well. I hope you're having a great travel here on the mainland. Um, He's going to a board game shop tomorrow in Nebraska. So uh, he's excellent. Yeah, he's spending some time with with his girlfriend and stuff. So have a good sleep. Thank you, Legends, for hanging out. Uh, so there and that. So, and then that is pretty much it. So I will also explain before we start the event cards. And we'll just use these um, for right now. So we have six events that are going to happen, which means we're going to be playing a total of six rounds. These events either happen immediately or they happen during the resolution phase in some sense. So this one is the Jelly Swarm. So would you mind reading that one, my dear? We're not used to their patterns yet. Millions of stinging jellyfish can really spoil your work day. Mm-hmm. 
So what this set, and we should have an expedition card all set, so we can talk about those in just a second. That's part of the finishing the setup. This is the last thing of setup. Peek at the next expedition card. Subtract the indicated energy from the vents and minerals from the quarry. So we're going to actually lose uh some of the resources that we do during setup for this round okay because of these jellyfish oh no so this is, a, jellies. this is a really crappy one to start with <laughs> because it's going to really limit the amount of resources that are out there okay so we don't we look at this one that we have currently and then we subtract from the next one so this is the one that we're setting up with okay. and the way we set this up is it indicates in the top left corner the number of energy cubes and the number of mineral resources that are available. And you add two to what's shown there to go into the supplies for that particular round. So we have four and four, which means into the pool, we're gonna put six of each. Yeah. And that's what's available. However, this event is about to really mess that up. Yes. Jellyfish are amazingly beautiful, Lady T. I agree, but they are also deadly. Apparently, they're not good for your work day. They are not good for your work day if you're working out in space. Space jellies. They're, they're lovely if you're watching them on your monitor or... Okay, so then when we look at this event, there's a go away? No, it just says peak at the next event okay. so or the next expedition. Okay, so we're peaking and we we'll Oh, we got a little lucky. Two and two. Okay, that's not terrible. That could have been worse because some of these cards say like five energy and seven, you know, so... Okay, so that's here. There still is so some out there. So this little pink marker indicates where the event card said the actual actions would take place. So since it's, it's low A, which is here, which is before we end up actually resolving stuff. So. Yeah, what's great, the board is really good at indicating what to do. Yeah. And we can play in any of these areas. And once we're done placing out all our dice, we follow the board in the number of re resolution, which yeah. is good because if you need some energy to go recruit some folks, but you don't have any, you can hopefully get some. And because you do it at number two, but then you don't need them until number five, you'll have them available. So you can actually kind of speculate and be like, I, I think I'm going to have enough energy yeah. to go get those uh, recruits. So I'll go ahead and put something there knowing that I'm going to try and get some over here. Yeah. And then finally, before we start, do you want to read the uh, expedition? What does it say? The Infiltrator's Stash. Another secret cave drilled out of the ice. Another hidden supply cache. Who's setting these up? So does this mean we're... Uh... Oh, and we didn't talk about how to do the expeditions. Yes. So on expeditions, friends, in the top right-hand corner, there is a number. So right now is... 10 is the value, which means we must place dice with pip value sum totaling 10 or, or more. more. Okay. If we are successful, this is collectively. We can do this collectively. If we are successful in collectively doing it, whoever was the first player to place a die uh, will... No, whoever has the most value oh, okay. of pips. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever has the highest value of pips on their dice that they've placed will get to choose one of the two resource rewards. Um, and so in this case, it would either be four uh, toolkits or four minerals. And then the secondary play, the second place person would get whatever was left over. If there was a third person that placed in here, then they would just get Thanks for participating. Thanks for participating. Now get out my face. I haven't looked that up because we only have ever played this with two players, but yeah. they might actually get a... Uh, trip up the old relief track ah okay it's possible okay and you also if you were part of the group that goes on the expedition you get an expedition badge yes and these are another way to collect points so there's several ways to collect points yes for the end game yes so and we will we will get to that one yeah. when we play so all right and i think that is it if and anyone we'll talk, has yeah, any we'll questions, talk about more things as we go uh let us know but who's gonna be first Oh, there's a really unique way of determining first player. So randomly, okay, we'll roll. We'll just do a roll off. All right. Wait, we had to roll on screen so people don't think we're cheating. Yes. Okay. Okay. Who will be first? I will be first. Okay. Okay, so... But from here on out, 
at the end of the round, whoever has the least number of resources, and when we say resources, that's just energy and minerals. That's not toolkits mm -hmm. or anything else. So Not people or anything like that. Whoever has the least count of uh, resources, those two things summed together, gets to choose who's going to be first player. Yeah. So you may want to be first to go grab something quickly, or you may want to react to what every the other person does. So it's kind of a fun way yes. to say like, okay, no, you go first so that I can maybe undercut you right. over at that thing if that's what I really that's want. That's very true. Yeah. So Joe, <laughs> Joe's like, maybe you're still cheating under fancy editing. Yes, because we are so high tech here on this stream. And hi, Timey. Welcome in. So, all right, I'm going to roll them up. Yeah, I already rolled. All right, and I like to put my numbers in numerical order just for the sake of visuals for myself. That's crazy. Talk. Okay, uh, so, you're so first. the buildings that we've got. Oh, okay. So this one, uh, oh, we should say, so there are spots for different types of recruits. Uh, at the top of the building is going to be some type of reward. And you get this reward at the end of a round if you have all of these spots in the building full. So if you only have two of the three, then this does nothing. But if you have all three of these filled with the correct type of recruit, then you get a recruit of your choice. Yes. Go into the shake ship. And the other one is the scout post. Um, let me get the old rules out to get the descriptions right. So the scout post. If your scout post is fully staffed, when you're placing a die in the vents or the quarry, so that's the two resource areas, you immediately gain one energy or one mineral from that location respectively. So you don't have to wait to see the resolution. You get to take one immediately when you place a die Ooh, in those places. Ooh, that's awesome. And that's why it says two and three because that's location two and three yep. there. Yeah. And you may notice that there are numbers here on the backs of these piles. For the first three rounds, we are going to be grabbing buildings from the ocean, ocean area. Yeah. And these are buildings that produce resources and help you get things. For rounds four, five, and six, we're going to be producing, we're drawing buildings from the above area. And these are ones that generate points for endgame. Um, so about halfway through the game, you start switching over to looking at how to uh, maximize endgame points. Okay, okay. Did you place a die? Please. I did not place a die because we need 10 over here. And for that I want infantrator sweet stash. Infantrator sweet stash. Sweet, sweet stash. Um, although, yeah, I feel like, I feel like go big or go home. So I'm going to place my fiver here, actually. Oh, there. really? Okay. So, yeah. That's expensive to outbid that, so. All right, and I'm going to lay all of these recruits down so you can see what colors they are. Technically, they're supposed to be upright, but they're laying down on the job, basically. <laughs> so these rewards are pretty good. Yeah. Um, I am going to try to jump in there first, but I need to make sure that you don't, if you do participate. So I'm going to send my six over there. Okay. And if we were to be tied, so Jess could potentially outbid me because there are different things that each of the recruit types do here on the expeditions if you send them with your die. Yes. So this is the one place that you can actually send some of your recruits to. Yes. So, for example, if she was to send her pioneer, which is what these tan-colored ones are, it increases the value of the die that she places there by one. You don't physically change the die, you place the right. recruit right beside it. So she could place her six and her recruit, uh, her pioneer, and that then, would give her a value of seven in the race to see who participated the most here. So that yeah. would potentially beat me if she did that. Yeah. Hey Murphs, I've always wanted to play this game. It's it's super the good. Murphs! Uh, yeah, it's what one are you to doing? Five. We're like only two hours away. I know. By airplane. <laughs> Jump on a plane and just fly up here. And... Or thirteen hours if you drive. We'll wait and play. Yeah, because <laughs> we're the closer, so we'll just wait. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Did you leave yet? Did you leave yet? <laughs> so, question though: If I did put my six here, 
Um, and with that, would that still mean, even though you can't physically change the value, would that would still temporarily give me a higher value? Yes. So okay. that, that okay. does in effect give you a okay. participation value of seven on the expedition. Got it. Got and it. that would put it. us over the 10. So we would be good. Yeah. Um, Dead. but remember when you send a recruit, they have to come from the shelter and you have to spend an energy or a mineral to do it to send them yeah um if they're going to participate they have to go with some type of resource to help right yeah right okay um what you gonna do i don't know if i want i don't, I don't know if i want that six there you got two of them come on i don't know if i do come along with me i don't know if i want to do that so I'm actually going to turn in my toolkit. Watch this, yo. Make this a three. Boom. Then I'm going to place my pioneer with it. Boom. And spend an energy. Okay. So technically, we have done that one. All right. So we are at the 10. So you, I could contribute, she could contribute, she could put another die there to try right. to get above my six, but right. we have met the threshold we need, so we're in pretty good shape. Cool. Quaid Rain! Quaid, Quaid is here! here. Woohoo! Yo, awesome. Canada! Canada yeah, is Yeah, oh, we waved tonight. to you. We waved to you. We were like, hi, Canada! Hi, Canada! Because <laughs> Canada up is above us. It's our upstairs neighbor. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Let's do... And friends, if anyone has questions about this uh, game, please feel recruits. free to ask. Please, please, please feel free to ask. All right. You're getting recruits. Yep. Okay. Well, I need... I definitely need some minerals to pay for my building. Yeah. You don't have enough yet. B -b 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 building But you put your six, so that's pretty easy to kind of undercut that yeah it's a bold move cotton it's t-a-p panda the chat uh, the chat command is t-a-p well since i put some recruits up there in order to get recruits i have to pay two energy for each one that i go get from the doorstep yep so i'm going to get some energy okay so while Jess hums along and decides her move, things that score you points, we're, these buildings are going to score us points. Yep. Um, getting sets of each type of recruit scores us points. So if there's four different types, if you have one of each, Color. Create a set, one of each color. Yeah. Uh, that set is worth like three points. So you can get multiple sets of recruits. So um, throughout the game, you may try to keep some balance into which recruits you get. But also uh, recruits that don't fit into a set are still worth points, like three to one. Uh, leftover resources that you didn't spend are worth points five to one. Um, yeah. The badges, when we go on expeditions, those are worth uh, points on scale. And if you get up to, I think it's up to five, you have to get at least five in order to get any positive points on that. On the badges? On the badges, yeah. Badges? Yes, TAP, the Artemis Project. That's right, Joe. Dinner, 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 what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Um, we don't need no stinking badges. <laughs> That's right, Hornets. That's right. So I've got recruits coming. I've got energy. I re this game, you can play it real mean. Um, you could. I'm not. So I mean, he could gonna. technically put his one. I'm gonna come anywhere. Get I'm gonna come get a couple toolkits. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to go pee. I was contemplating cutting under and taking all your uh, minerals, but that would be... That would mean. Be mean. So I'm going to spend my one to go get this building because she is out of dice, yep. so she can't outbid that. So yep. I will be able to get that one for cheap. Yep. Okay, that's all our dice. 
Okay. So then we resolve in number order. We go just around the around the table. So first we're resolving here. Gus put in more than I did. So which reward would you like? Oh, first we did fulfill it. So we have 10 oh. exactly. So we each get a badge. Get a badge. Badges. These remind me of like like Boy Scout badges or something. Like, here you go. Here's your patch. My little, uh, became a weeblo. <laughs> Any other weeblos in the house? Weeblo? That was the highest rank of Cub Scouts. Really? No idea. Yeah, it was a bobcat, wolf, bear, weeblo. Whatever. Weeblo. I think weeblo is we'll be loyal scouts. I think that's what it's <laughs> so it's a made up word. It's totally a made up word. <laughs> it's a smashing together yes i love it all right all okay right. so what are you deciding to take uh Four. i am going to take all of the minerals all the minerals all right one two three four all right and then i'll get four toolkits please thank you all right so we did these and then we return our dice Dice get returned, and then my person gets returned. Yes. And then this goes away. So that just gets discarded. <gasps> Games of Fire says her brother was a wee blow. Well, there we go. Their nice. brother was awesome. All right, so now we're going to resolve the second station on our little map here. Yep. So I have a three, I get to go first. So I take three of these energy cubes and Jess has the next die. She gets whatever's left over up to six, which was one. Yay! Go me! Okay, and then we resolve this. Jess has the only die there and it's a six. So she gets everything. And because you did not put a die there, you don't go up the relief track. Right. Over here, we are gonna get our buildings. So I have to pay one. One whole mineral? One mineral. And when you get a building, you can immediately put any recruits that you have in your shelter. Yes. Into that building. Yes. So I can immediately put my pioneer into that shelter. Okay. Also, when you get new recruits, if you have space open in your buildings, you can immediately put them into those buildings. That's important because the only other way to get recruits into those buildings is at the end of the round, you get to move one. One. So it's From important. your shelter to a building. Right. Yeah. Or to swap two uh, that are in different places. You can, you can yeah. change places for them. Um, so it's important to try to time things well so right. that you can put those into the space also, anybody who's in your shelter at the end of the round, you have to pay energy to keep them warm and alive. So, Because the shelters don't have heating, but the buildings do. Exactly. Well, down in the ocean, there's like thermal. Like, oh, right. They're all stuff. in like scuba gear. Yeah, it's like a okay. sauna down there. Okay. And Lady T, that was the Weeblos was for Boy Scouts, apparently. And Quaid says there's an ointment for that. For being a weeblo. I got, for, I got a little kiss of the weeblo. I got the weeblo. All right. So then that's me. So I have to pay five. Ouch. So weeblo was the highest rank of Cub Scouts, which here so in the I States. This one here. I don't know if that's, I don't think it's worldwide. I think it's just a United States US thing. thing. Um, Cub Scouts was kind of like the younger kids version of Boy Scouts. Um, so after you completed the weeblo's. Then stuff. you become a Boy Scout? You could move into Boy Scouts. Oh, weird. Although I think you could go straight into Boy Scouts if you were old enough. But yeah. this was a way to kind of be in that whole system weird. for a while. Okay, next. Okay, so you put yours over there. Now we're going to recruit some new helpers. So Jess gets to go first because she has the lowest die value. A one or a two means she can recruit one person and she yes. has to pay two energy for every recruit she gets. Okay, so I'm going to pay two energy and I'm going to get that pioneer because okay. I can place them immediately on my scout outpost. And now... That is a full building. It is a full building, so it gets activated. So I can... Is this add an, any new round? How is yeah, the wording on it? Yeah, this is in the future. 
So the the lightning bolt indicates that there's a specific timing for when you okay. would activate that building. Okay. Otherwise, like my building, which does not have a lightning bolt, means at the end of a round I do this. Okay. So yours has a timing, which will be when we're placing die, and you place into either the vents to get some energy or into the crystal area to get some minerals you would get to take one so i get a me so as i'm placing my die instead of waiting to be resolved i immediately take one one and then you still resolve it later to get additional more ones. okay yeah. so technically i could place two in in the thing and get stuff if you placed a two in here no no, no I, get... two die so if, like i place one here in the minerals and then here in the energy on the future round i would get one of each immediately Correct. Got it. <laughs> okay. And so that oh, was yours. Oh, got it, Games of Fire. Thank you for that clarification. And I have a three. So a three or a four means I can recruit up to two. Yes. So I definitely want this engineer because I have a space in my building. Yes. So that's two energy for them. And thank you, Joe, for the status update. I uh, appreciate that, my little mogwai saying everything is good to go. And I will do another two energy to get a steward, but I don't have a space in a building for them, so they're going to go chill in my shelter. Okay. All right, so then that's the doorstep, and then we have the cadet area, the academy, which we don't have any dice there, so that just doesn't get resolved this time around. And now we do our... End of round. End of round. So the end of round means we have to First. clean up... You get to do the one move if you need to. So Moving from is, your shelter to your buildings. Right. Neither of us needs to, so we'll move okay. on. So the second thing you get to do is activate your fully staffed ocean buildings. Yours is later, so right. that's not happening. And mine is not fully staffed, so I don't get anything. Correct. Next, we pay one energy per colonist in our shelter. So I have one. So I do have to pay an energy to keep I them alive. I don't. They're in my buildings. And then we refresh the game board for the next round. Okay. So this event goes away. This next event we have... Charging the Threshold. Would you mind reading that one, please? Keeping the Threshold it's open here. isn't cheap. Anyone who can spare a little juice will be handsomely rewarded. Ooh. Each player in turn order may pay two energy to gain one victory point up to three times per player. And this happens at G. So this little pink peg will remind us that that's at the end of the round. It happens after we complete the sixth thing, which is the last one in order. Yes. So we'll do this at the end of the round if we have... Energy that we want to spend to help charge the threshold, we can potentially gain some victory points. Awesome. And then our new expedition, we've got charting the pocket. So we have charging the threshold and then charting the pocket. Would you mind reading that one? Sure. Every square inch of this place. What? Okay. Hold on. Sorry. It's very small text. <laughs> Every square inch is what? It's what? Every square inch of this place, team. This isn't home until we know every nook and cranny. What about, Are we on an English muffin? What about crooks and nannies? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we have to put in pip value some total of nine. And we have our layout for the vents and the minerals. So it's two of each, and then we add an additional two. Okay. And then we do a resource count. I have three resources. Oh, and then we gotta put out the two new buildings. Oh yeah. Oh, and the shank ship. And we need to put four new recruits. I feel like I'm like making a margarita or something. Ooh. Four. Four. There we go. All right. Shake, 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 shake ship. Shake them all the time. So they do give you a bag with the game that you can put these recruits into and draw out of, but way boring compared to having a shake ship. The yes. shake ship is awesome. Awesome. Um, so we got that all set up. So we choose first player. Yes. I have three resources. I have seven. You go first. So. And then we roll our dice. Jess had the fewest resources, so she gets to choose who first player is. Whoa! Full house! Full house, everybody. 
Jess is going to have a hard time undercutting me on anything. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. Dang. When we, okay, so when we were dating, we would always play Yahtzee a lot. Like, that was our go-to game for date nights. And I guarantee you, I maxed out, like, full you're, house. You were like, the full house queen. Yeah. Every gross. single game. It was obnoxious. All right. So our new buildings, the Synthetics Complex, says you can discard energy and gain the same amount of minerals and vice versa. So basically, you can change energy into minerals or mineral, minerals into energy okay. up to three times. Okay. And then the manufacturer is self -explained. Explanatory, you get two toolkits. Okay. And both of those will happen at the end of rounds because there is no lightning bolt on them. Got it. Okay, so... Um, well, it seems... It seems good to drop a six over there. Let's get ahead of you on that, so hopefully I'll get first choice. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And it is possible if I was the only one to go here and I got nine all by myself, uh -huh. I would get both of the rewards. I would only get one expedition badge uh -huh. for completing that expedition, but I would get both rewards. So huh. if you chose not to go. Yeah. And you know, James, I have never played Dice Throne. So I don't know if I would have the same luck or not. And I, I guess Full House is not really a good thing. And hello, Shep. Welcome in. How's the Euro trip going so far? So far, it is going okay. We're only in round two, so it's still kind of early to tell. But uh, I feel like I feel like I would be doing all right. We'll be doing all right. Okay. Europa um, trip. Um. What's up? Well, those those buildings don't seem like super helpful. You know? They would also be very Olympian! Here. Oh my gosh. We have a raid. Whoa! We have an Olympian raid. Oh hey my yo. goodness. I'm going to come up to the top real quick. Hi, raiders! Thank hey. you so much for coming. Uh, thanks, Olympian, for the raid and happy two year anniversary for streaming. Ooh, Such cool. an accomplishment. Thank you so much. I'm Jess. This is my partner, aka not Gus. But his real name is David, and uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. This is the end of the t Top Live Network Marathon. We are the closer tonight. Closer. And uh, we are playing the Artemis Project from Grand Gamers Guild. If you are interested in uh, getting a copy per chance, we are actually giving away a copy. Giveaways! So here we are. Uh, there's the information on how to get a enter into the giveaway, as well as if you already own a copy of this game and you want to kind of check out more stuff from Grand Gamers Guild, there's links in the chat for their pledge manager as well, because there is an expansion for this game, as well as a secondary game called the Ottermus Odyssey. That is uh, currently going to be available for purchase and things like that. All purchasing and that online. Standalone, right? That's that is standalone, but it's still the same theming. So it's more, yeah, more content if you like this universe. More content. But for those that aren't really familiar fun. with me, uh, I'm a tabletop board game streamer. I stream on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can catch all of my information and when my schedule is at Jess underscore CCG on the socials. And uh, yeah, it's super, super glad that you all can come and hang out. We are in probably in like the first half of the game. So you are just in time. But uh, yeah, if you would like to enter into the giveaway, there is information on how you can do so. And uh, yeah, but thank you again, Olympian. Always good to see you in chat. And uh, I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you to Grand Gamers Guild again for providing the giveaway copy. We really appreciate them yes. and sponsoring the stream. Yes. Um, and this game is really good. It's really fun, and they have some really great stuff. So highly recommend popping over to check out uh, what they're doing over there with the, um, the Artemis Project world and 
the expansions and the follow-up games. So. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so this basically is a, a dice worker placement, and we are on the Jupiter's moon of Europa, uh, excavating resources and things of that nature to try to see if it's an inhabitable, pla- uh, inhabitable planet. Moon. 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 Moon, not planet. Because planet is different than a moon. That's not a moon. <laughs> anyway... Thank you, everybody, for hanging out today. Thank you. Who's All right, so it? it's my turn. It's my turn. Um, okay. Jeez. Uh, ah, jeez. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? No. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not a mind reader, Kent. I'm going to do, I'm gonna do this, but I get my activation, so I get one right away. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Boom. So, are you double checking and making sure? That I want to make not... sure if it's not the first time or every time. So, just so we know how many times you can. When you every time place a die, you get one. So, ha-ha, that's how I can undercut you. That is rich. It's like an uppercut. Um, where do I want? Where do I want? I need a marine to complete my building. So, let's go, I'm going to turn in one of my toolkits to make my two a three, and I'm going to come up here to recruit, so that I can potentially get two. Okay. Okay. Then, I'm going to do this, bam, and get one for free. I'm going to keep doing it like every time. You're so excited about that building. It is. It's a good building, especially you get it right off the bat. I mean, these buildings are whatever, like toolkits or whatever. Um, what else? So I've got... And I mean, yes, getting more bad. buildings. Getting more buildings is essentially good because you get like victory points for some of the end game ones but yeah oh and thank you for the biddies so kind of you thanks Ann. appreciate that thanks everybody for being here tonight yeah oh man so uh, 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 uh. oh and I guess we should say there are two spots you'll notice up here uh, in a two-player game, only the first spot is available. So as soon as one of us goes here to the academy, uh, that's taken. Yes. Nobody else can go there. You can't undercut or anything like that. It's Yeah, that's why there's a three, three to four-player spot yeah. it shows. Man, love. Did I mess up your plans? What do I want to do? Did I mess up your plans? What's helpful? Let's... Well, do you want any of those buildings? I mean, getting a bunch of toolkits isn't bad because they help. You also, you, you've got a marine out there, and that could work towards your. This one, I mean, it things. could be cool. Could be, or not. I don't know. That's my name. All right. Well, I'm gonna do this. Okay. No more energy for you. No, no more for you. All right, fine. Then I'll just do here. Yay, we did it. Okay. Yay. And then. I will try to get that one on the cheap. On the cheap. Um, see, now I'm stuck. Now it's just like, what do I want to do? I'm going to do, well, I know I'm like, do I do this? Do I do this? Mm. Do I force your hand and... Make it a two over there. Do I get it for two? 
But that seems like I can just play one die here and get two toolkits. So, like, both of those buildings don't, like, mean diddly to me. They're not super exciting? They're not. They're really not. Um... And we should say at the end of rounds, so people know when we're doing cleanup, this goes away, whether we completed it or not. Uh -huh. Everything left here, if there is any, goes away. The buildings don't go away. So if there are any buildings that we didn't build, they will stay. And also the same with recruits. If right. there are any recruits that we didn't hire to come into our crews, they will also stay. There are some right. maxes that are built in. So there's a max of 12 that can be here, and there's a max of 8 that can be here. Um, but those ones will continue to build if not everybody is claimed in a particular round. Right. Ugh, this is so... Ugh, I don't know what to do. Do you want a particular type of recruit? Yeah, that means I have to put in, put or in you, a person. Or do you need to go hire somebody? I mean, getting recruits yeah, is not bad, right? Well, I know, but that means I have to feed them. And I don't have things to feed them. And if I don't feed them, then they go bye-bye. I like that it's feed them. They eat energy. Yeah. Energy. Some yeah. power bars or something? Yeah. See, so it's like I don't I They just really live on know. Lara bars. They just live on Lara bars. They live in the Lara bars. Um, I'm curious if anyone in chat has played this. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I will. I'll do this, and I'll I'll use my duder. So you make him a steward. I'm gonna make him a steward. <sighs> okay. Yeah. With my last six. Um, so that's done. Yep, sorry, lovely. What are you doing? Okay, that's fine. Undercutting. That's fine. And then I'm going to... So if I had left it a six, it would go to the right because Jess placed there first with the same number, but because right. I was able to drop it down one... It's lower, so I get to... Then I'm making this a two. I'm going, bam! Okay. I don't know if that's good for nothing, but whatever. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. So we did this, and you have the higher number. So what would you... Oh, yeah. We badges. get our badges. Badges, 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 badges. Mushrooms. Um, What would you like? Well, because... The event that's happening at the end of the round wants energy spent potentially for points. Uh -huh. I'm going to take the four energy. Why? You are going to get all that energy there. Yeah, but I got energy to spend and recruits to get. Ugh, such a butt. All right. All right. So get that. My get that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> were you waiting to say that? <laughs> no, it just came to me right now. It just came to you right now. Uh, yeah. See, see, Panda knows what's up. Getting some panda butts up there. <laughs> butts up in this business. Butts up. All right. All right. Uh, so we resolved the expedition. We each got our badge. We got our yes. stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Look, yes. you got all these minerals. You're so, you're so great. Um, so f I'm first and I have four. So I yep. collect what's there, which is just three. But I get to move up the resolve track, so I get two toolkits. Yes, because there was nothing here for Jess to take. She gets some relief and... Oh, yeah, relief track. Relief no. track. So whatever is resolve ab track. Relief above track. that spot, which for that spot was two toolkits. Yeah. All right, again, I go first here. I clear it out. And hey, Jess, nothing for you. More nothing relief. Nothing for you, more relief. There's your energy. Two energy. energy. There you go. Yay. All right. And now we move over here to build our building. So I have to turn in one minerals to build my manufactory. Okay. And you have to turn in two. two. Also, this is optional. So if you put a die over here to build these buildings, you don't have to do it. Why? Um, it's a choice. So, so you just potentially do it just to block people? 
Well, if you put a number in there that's higher than somebody, then if you outbid and you choose not to build, they still get to build. Ah, I see. But if no, you were no, here no. by yourself, right. you could say, you know what? I don't want to spend it for that. So you would get to choose. Okay. I know this building is not valuable, but... Now, to the recruits. So I need a Marine to complete my surface conduit building. So I'm definitely going to take them. And then I really don't need anything in particular yeah. of those two types. So I will just grab a, I feel like pioneers are more common. Yes. I don't know that that's true or not. I'd have to look at the rules. So I'm gonna grab a steward. Okay. And I'll put them in that spot. So I have one uh, spot in my new building that is why, like it could take any type of recruit. Right. So I put that type there. So I spent my four energy for my two recruits. Okay, uh, this one goes away. And so my one pioneer is going to become a steward. He graduated. They got trained. Into Steward Academy. Nice. You got a spot just waiting for them. Okay. And then that's it. Okay, so now we resolve our event. So the event says each player in turn order may pay two energy to gain one victory point. You may pay. And you can do so, that up to three times. I'm, yes. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to drop all four that I have and go two points. And I will drop all four that I have and go Copier. two points. <laughs> you Man. will not get away from me. Okay. And that's all that. That's all the res resolution. All right. Round two so, is done. So round two is done. So the new event is... Well, wait, before we do that, we have to what? do the... Oh, you know, right. We have to do all our buildings and stuff. Okay, you Feed can people. perform one colonist swap. Um, I will I'm do... Leave everybody where they're at. Yeah, I will swap. I'm going to swap my pioneer over here. So then now my synthetics complex nice. is fully building... Fully built... I uh, can't talk. Fully activated. Okay. Now. And then I can do the thing so I can swap out. So I'm going to do uh, two minerals for two energy. Call in a swap. I thought this was family friendly. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, it's, a, it's a home share. <laughs> Joe. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Oh, Did you do I something wrong? Up. What happened? I spent all my energy, and I've got people in the shelter. Yeah, so they go, what happened? This is a good teaching moment. Okay, so when you have people in your shelter and you don't have energy to pay for them, to feed them, what happens, hun? They die. They die. R.I.P. Settlers, it was a little too rough for them. So they just <laughs> go away. Oh, yeah. So these two are out. Dang, I lost two. I'm sorry. That was that, that was, was very poor planning. The on two my part. that you purchased ended up just. That was very all of that yeah. for one no! point. Oh, I've seen that documentary Terminator Two. So this is with yeah. What to do, baby boo? Thank you for joining. Synthetics Dang. complex. I have that. I don't trust those androids that, <laughs> that they don't hurt humans. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'll get over I'm over it. You're over <laughs> it. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Now we go to All the right, new so now round. We now we refresh. Okay. So flip this. That's the last thing we do. Lovely. Oh, I want to flip it first. I know, but All it's right. last. What y What's yours is ours. What does it say? Oh, this sounds very communist um no that crawler should not be there let's show our guests a little hospitality please hmm. what's yours is ours apparently by force <laughs> yeah because uh, those are guns so we're gonna put three shake shit Ooh, look at the shake ship people oh, that seems appropriate the marine came out I didn't, I didn't miss the whole thing. This has been on your radar as well, Sir Bearsworth. worth here in luck because we're giving away a copy. Give away! Give away! 
Get away, get away, get away now. Um, okay. I love you. I love you too. Okay, so we put out our energy in that, and now we need two buildings because we are still in round three, which yes. means we are doing ocean buildings. Okay, what do we got? So we have a sensor station. Turn in two energy for a point. Don't let that fool you. That got me in trouble. Or we have pocket operations. Wait, why is, did that get you in trouble Because I lost two people because I spent energy for points. Oh, right. It's a bad deal. Right. Uh, pocket operations turn two minerals in for a point. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah. And now we do the events. Oh, did you do the shake ship? No, I did not. Shake ship! Shake ship! Shake ship! Is this the deluxe? Does this... Is this the deluxe version that came with the shake ship? Because I, I feel like so. it's in the rules. Yeah, I think this is actually available in the base version. We don't have deluxe. Then why did it that why did it say it had a draw bag? Because I don't remember a draw bag. There is a bag in there. There is? Oh, we just choose not to use For people it. who don't like fun? Oh. Don't well there is assembly required. There is some assembly required to put the shake ship together, so I mean, I get it. But you get to constantly say shake ship. Okay. And All right, event time. Whoosh. Dress Whoa. for the job you want. What does it say? Dude, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. The artwork in this is very fun. For once, we got a batch of rookies that are prepared for the weather. These new powered cold suits are amazing. Ooh. All right, so this will go into E, which is here at the recruit area, the doorstep. Pioneers, which are the tan color, cost zero energy to hire from the doorstep this round. Other colonists still you cost the usual two energy. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That's nice free free peeps. They so got cold suits, they don't need energy. Leather E. Yeah. E. So when we go to resolve this, if you are going to uh, recruit one of these pioneers, you don't have to pay the usual two energy to wow. do it. There's a, lot of, okay. there's a lot of pioneers there, too. Roll dice. Oh, and you have to decide who goes first. Who's going first? Oh, am I? No, you have five. I only have five. I have eight. Yeah, you... You choose. You're late. I decide. Well, let me see. Do I have to decide now before I roll? Uh, I'm rolling. It I think we're matter. supposed to decide before you roll. Uh, You have that. You start still. I'm first. Okay. You start still. Um, <laughs> Lady T, you will definitely, you will definitely uh, enjoy the. Um, oh, I didn't put my Sammy board on. Hold on, hold on, Ann. Hold on, Ann. Mm. Dang it! Forgot to turn on my Sammy board. Your what? It. He does all the the sound effects. Hold on, hold on, Ann. I know absolutely zero about Twitch thingies, programs you're doing. Wait, it's did magic. it not? Black magic. I thought it did this. All right. Uh, oh, did it not connect? Come on now. I should have connected. Smile on your brother. All right. I will do that. It should have done that. Oh, my bridge. Is my bridge? You will do what? What did you do? Uh, oh, you added to the thing. I see. I see. Do, 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 do. I will do this correctly. Where are you going? Now let me see who does it. Who do I get to reroll? I ain't gonna take that. I don't know. For some reason, my my pop up alerts aren't working. Uh, I must be OBS, cause you know the update and all that jazz. Uh, all right. 
Anyways, I see what you're doing. And I'm going to be a butt. You do you. You can't take them from there. Why? You can only take them from your shelter. Oh, dang it. In the last game we played, there is one particular building. Oh, dang it. I forgot that. The expedition that. shelter oh. that you can. But otherwise, that's why I played that there. So that you cannot butt me. Dang it. No butting. No butts about it. Dang it. No be budding. No be budding. Uh, uh, no, we're not gonna make that a thing. <laughs> we're not gonna make that a thing. Um, okay. What do I want? I need some. What did I miss? <laughs> oh, that was such a good song. What did I miss? Is it? Have any of you seen Hamilton? That was from Hamilton, by the way. Oh, and uh, Panda or Phantom, would you mind giving back Anne her reroll channel points? Because for some reason my my thing is not working right now. So redeem, refund Anne her channel points there so she can use them for another day. Okay. Um, I turned in a toolkit to make this a two. Okay. I need some energy. Pure energy. Pure energy. What are these things? To these are dice. Thank you. Thank Random you. number generators. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Bam! I'm going to see if that works out. I'm afraid of that particular building, so. <laughs> You're afraid of all energy buildings oh, now? Oh, man. i got to pay attention here. I didn't need to do that. Nope. <laughs> dang it. did not. You did not. Dang it, dang it, dang it. So what I'm saying to myself is Jess's scout post has no people in it, so it is not an active building. So I could have put something else there, and she couldn't have used her power to go take one of the energy by just placing a die. Nope. Because that building is not active. Because my scout post is empty. What happened to your scouts? I used one to make him into a sentry, or a sentinel, senten what is he called? Steward. I kept wanting Sent to say Sentinel. Sentient? <laughs> That's a different game. Sentient is a different game. That's a fun one, too. That is a fun one. Um, so I'm going to get those two. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Oh, let's do that. I'm going to train my pioneer to be an engineer. Okay. Pioneer. Engineer. Um, all right, fine. I'll just go here. You're welcome. Complete. Have any of you seen Moana? Because that's also a good, good one, too. Um, Lots of fun songs. Ba -da, ba -da, da 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 Yes, it's okay to say you're welcome. I don't even know if that's what I'm saying. I guess having a building is not bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's another thing that scores points, is having buildings. lots of buildings. Right. I want those to be switched. Oh, mistakes, all the mistakes. <clears throat> mm. Well, 
Gonna work on some pocket operations. Pop pop operations. I was trying to say I was trying to make it one word, but you can't really make it one word. Pop pop operations. Those are not words that go together. No, they don't. Okay, we got all our dice out. Yes. So we do this here. Yes. You got more, but we each get a badge. Badges for everybody. You get a badge, and you get a badge. Okay, uh, I would like both these guys. You would like the people? The people. Okay, and then I get three toolkits. What I also like about this game is that these bits are quite substantial. It's like it's, really it's well like done. significant, you know. Yeah. Cubes are well done. I mean, even the meeples. I mean, look at this. Look at this little marine guy. Like you could tell he's got like a gun. He's all armored and jazz. Like it's well done. The engineer has their hands on their hips because they're telling you how dumb you are. Only they know the answer. <laughs> the steward. You fool. You fool. <laughs> The steward looks like they're in some kind of like robed cloak thing, cloaked robe thingy. It's like a cult. Yeah. There's no Cthulhu. There are cultists place. in this. There are, no, there are not. It's from the ocean. It's from Cthulhu the ocean. Cthulhu rising up. <laughs> There's no Cthulhu in this game. All right. Get, okay. your, get your energy. Get my energy. All right. Okay. And then you get. Get my minerals. Two and I get two. Get out my face. And then I have to pay four minerals from my building. <laughs> so here we go. Ooh, I got one mineral for this building. Look at that. Oh, cheap building. Look at that, everybody. I can move my Bam. marine. So since I built a building that has a spot for a marine, I can take them out of the shelter and move them in. Uh -huh. So that is fantastic. Okay. Uh, who would you like to recruit? Oh. Remember, recruits of pioneers are free. Are free. Free, for free, 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 free. So you can recruit up to two folks. I know. So I'm like, do I just get the free pioneers, or do I spend to get the engineer and this and this? I keep wanting to say sentinel, the steward. Um, I don't know. I mean, free is nice. Yeah, I'm. I gotta do free. Free, 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 free. Next round, not free. Next round is not free. Okay. okay. So that's that event. Then your My person becomes pioneer. Will become an engineer. Pioneer engineer. Fill in my manufacturing. Pioneer engineer. Where's my other guy? Uh, where is your? Oh, right here. Oh. I don't know why you Thank put you. it on that building. That's how much I paid for that. Okay. So then we do... So you can do one swap one if you want to. One swap swap. I don't. Uh, I don't. I'm happy with where my folks are at. Nope. Swap Activate swaps. your buildings that are complete. So I get a random recruit for my surface conduit. Do I want to do energy... No, I mean, I'm pretty even. I have four energy, four minerals, and five energy. So I'm pretty... What did you I do? Two. I get a random recruit. Random person. Did you just pull out a, a marine? Pioneer. No, it's a pioneer. Oh, okay. I was going to say. I'm pretty sure there's more pioneers than anything. What's the count? Let's see if they say. A little bit. So there's 28 pioneers, 24 engineers, and then 16 of the marines and the stewards. Okay. So there are more pioneers than anything else. Okay. We're just so we, swimming in pioneers. We did our buildings. We did our. We don't have to pay because we don't have any shelter peep, peeps. Nope. Um. So now we set up for the next round. Yep. So event or expedition. Read it. Surprise supplies! Surprise supplies! <laughs> Look like the miners lost something. Finders keepers! Ooh! So this one you get three energy or three minerals. Okay. And then the other reward option is moving up one on the relief track. So when you see this like spaceship, uh, you got a delivery. 
Spaceship. So put out. You know, the Lego movie? That was also a fun movie. So three and three gets five and five because we had two to each. Yep. And now we're in round four, right? Yes. So now we switch to putting out the above ground buildings, the ice surface. Oh, I need more in the shake ship. And these are end game scoring points. So you'll notice the strong point wants two Marines to get you four points. Sorry, I should not shake while you're talking. <laughs> like right in the microphone. Um, or the snowcat garage has a pioneer and an engineer it's worth two points plus at the end of the game you can spend any toolkits that you have to do extra swaps because remember we only get one swap per round mm -hmm. this is a way to be able to swap around a lot of folks at the end get them out of your ocean buildings up into your above ground buildings to score you those end game points but right. it takes toolkits four peeps in the shake ship Holy Marines! Wow! Some fancy recruits! All right. We got recruits with skills. People like recruits with skills. Nunchuck skills. Bow hunting skills. Computer hacking skills. You know, skills. Skills. Oh my goodness. There's like a party going on here. Is it a whisper party? Whisper. And then the event. <laughs> Lady T shaking with us. Shaking. Despair sets in. Uh-oh. <laughs> this doesn't sound good. Uh-oh. Long days, long nights. They all blend together in the deep dark. Sometimes <laughs> even intense effort seems like a waste down here. So it's a very despairy photo. Yeah. Burr. Expeditions where the total dice value exceeds the difficulty do not award expedition badges this round. Oh, so we have to have exact value. Yeah. Okay. They're like, I don't want to do extra work, man. Yeah. I just want to do the bare minimum. Bare minimum. So All right. I need exactly eight. Woo! Well, we rolled... Close to the same thing. Hey, you copy me. Copy me. All three right. fives and sixes. What's our fifth dice going to be? I have oh, nine. Oh, I have three, six, eight. Okay, who's going first? You're first. What? Mickey Picky. I get the I get the snow cat. Snow bobcat. The dozer. The dozer. Dozer. Okay. Oh, and our buildings. Building. The strong point wants Marines. The yep. snowcat garage wants a pioneer and an engineer. Okay. And we have lots of good choices. I'm going to do this. Whoo. Yeah. Bring it. Wow. <laughs> are you amused? Or no, is it, are you entertained? Is are that you what they not entertained? Are you not entertained? Um, oh. Can't undercut me now. Well, I guess you could. Can't you really do that to. now. I'm looking for a good time. Gonna have a ball. On Europa? On Europa now. I'm gonna place my fiver. And because of my scout post, I get one for free. Nope, from here. I get one for free. Yeah. Just kidding. Um, what do you think? Can we pull this expedition off? Yeah. I mean, we both Here. have threes and fives. No. You but. Do you want to be part of my expedition? You don't have to. You could just say no. Okay, wait. So, oh, that's two minerals. Okay. that I was kind of thrown off by that little cargo truck behind it. Mm. Europa is the ocean moon, says Lady T. Well, there we go. Uh, boom. Ooh, is that a real thing? Well, Lady T, Lady T does teach, so. Yeah? Awesome. Mm -hmm. I trust her. I'm going to choose agree. 
Yeah, I'm going to choose agree. You I fool. will say yes. You fool. Oh. No, man. Okay, so I don't know if y'all seen. Uh, All right, you made a choice. What did you do? Yeah, I did this. The Hollywood Squares okay. sketch with uh, Gilbert Gottfried back in the day. And it was like sudden death. And then like the two contestants were like kept picking him for the final square because it was all even. And every time he would give them an answer, they would either agree or disagree with him. And he totally just threw them off every single time. It was hilarious. We're sending a probe and the rover there. They're going to drill down through the ice and turn on the lights and cameras. Wouldn't it be awesome to see something swim up to the cameras? Yeah, like killer jellyfish. What? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Send the pioneers. Don't stop me now. How crazy would that be if Grand Gamers Guild and who designed this? Daryl Chow and Daniel Rochi? Yeah. Uh, if they got it right and there were like all kinds of life forms and yeah. heat vents down there that were yeah. keeping the ocean temperatures warm enough for life. Joe wants a space whale there. A spoil? A spoil! A spoil! <laughs> Lady T was hoping for some octopi, but jellyfish will do. Just give me a call. I would like a spanity. Space manatee? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because manatees are your favorite. Don't stop me. Um, <laughs> what's going on here? What are we doing? Uh, we're playing a game. It's called the Artemis Project. We're what's currently happening? tied at two points. So that's another thing that people aren't aware of in this game. A lot of points get calculated at the end of the game. So you really don't know if you're winning or not. It's not super front loaded. Yeah. So you kind of hope for the best and kind of pre-calculate things in your mind before the actual end game. So, yeah. And it's not a very high scoring game, seeing as like the track only goes up to 40 uh, we did play a game earlier, and we tied at 30. Correct. We did. We did. Okay, my turn. C. All right, so I'm going to do this just because I just want to get an extra cute energy. Pure energy. All right. Um, <sighs> oh, would it be... Joe, would it be like Magic School Bus where you're like, inside the space whale? And you're like, going through the, down the esophagus and stuff. So if I go here, I could get myself moving up the relief track, which may not be a bad thing. Or you can turn in a couple of your toolkits and totally blow me out of the way. No. The real Moby Dick adventure, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go here with the intent purpose of moving up the relief track. Intensive purposes? All intents and purposes. Okay. Okay. So our event marker is here at the first thing that we're resolving, and it says we must be exactly at eight eight in order to get our expedition tokens, we which did. we did well together. We're good at working together. It's like we're meant to be. So I get first choice. Um, ooh. Ba -da 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 -da, ba -da 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 -da. I'm gonna take this side and take three okay. energy cubes. Okay. Porpoises don't belong in tents. That is true, Sir Bearsworth. They don't. All right. Then that means, then that means I get this move up a thing. So I get two minerals. Sea tents. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Then we do this. So you get three. Boom. And I get one. One. Okay. So that's your die. Thank you. And then I get all, all the, things. the things. So since there's none, I get to move up the relief track instead. So I get two. What happens if you max out at the relief track? Uh, you no longer get. Anything? Any relief. You get no relief. Well, that's that's sad. Okay, building. So, so I get five, five minerals for these. And this one I get for my 
Oh, this is a spate. This is an ice one, so this goes in the upper part of your uh, player boards. And I get my Snowcat Garage for three, which I paid. Okay. All right. And recruit. And recruit. Okay. You have a five, so you get up to three recruits, each for two energy. Don't stop me now. I'm going to buy all the things because you don't need them. I'm going to buy the two Marines and a Pioneer. Okay. No, not a Pioneer. I'm going to... Uh, a sen Steward. Sentry. <laughs> I keep wanting to say Sentry. Uh, that's six. It could be a Sentry. That's six. That's six. Okay. So I want for sure an engineer and a pioneer. Um, and I'm thinking about end game with my sets. Yeah. I only have one steward. So oh, yeah, I'm gonna I need do, some, I need some engineers. Oh, I'm gonna take shoot. the steward because I've that. got a, an empty space to put them, so they could be anything. Right. So I'll pay six to get those three. Okay. And. Ba -da -da. That means my snowcat garage is up and working, fixing them snowcats. You build all your buildings nice. Yes, all my buildings are. You take your full. die back. All right, and nobody went to the academy. Nope. So there's nothing to do there. So this, this round is, is over. Done. This is done. That is done. round four of six. All right. So first, you can do a swap if you want to do a swap. Swapity swap. Negative. I'm happy with every wherever was at. Negative Obi Wan. Activate any of your full buildings. So I get a random recruit. Oh, I can switch. So I'm gonna swap two minerals for two energy to get some of my energy back. Okay. So I have four and I minerals two. and three energy now. Okay. I can turn in two minerals for a point, but I've only got yeah. three right now, so I'm going to hold off on that. Okay. Um, I do have one new recruit who doesn't have a home. He's in the shelter, so I have to heat him up with some energy. Okay. And that's, that's all it. the things. Yep, we did our buildings, did our people. Now we refill the thing. Okay, so new expedition card. The burrow? Oh my god, there are people alive in here. Apologies for all of our English friends. <laughs> that was spot on. <laughs> Alright, so we got three energy for five and five minerals for seven. seven. Alright, then I gotta shake ship it up. Oh. Wait, I'll put Four. it back. No, here. Oh, two for those. Come on. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. So then it's interesting how this plays differently. So you need four. There we go. So in the last game that we played, we could not get a Marine to come out of the shake ship to save our lives. And there weren't a whole lot of engineers. There was tons of pioneers and tons of stewards. So we had to go here and we like maxed out the academy in getting the, yeah. the engineers out of there. So I like how this game is playing much different. different. Yeah. And we have only played it at two player. And so I'm intrigued to play it with like four and five. Yeah, people. this will be really intriguing. Because this will be really intriguing. So, but the cool thing is, is that this game works well at two players. It doesn't, it scales fairly well. It doesn't feel like you're not getting the full game effect with less number of people. Okay, uh, so, new buildings. Yeah. Man, Grand Gamers Guild, they should give us a cut. We're like selling this. We're selling this game, y'all. It really is a fun one. It's It's got a little bit of meanness to give you that kind of interactivity, but it's right. not like... But it's not like you're out of luck. So if even if you yeah. all the Jess stuff Jess and I aren't going to have to go through marriage counseling at the end of this. Like, no. We're, we still love each other. <laughs> I mean, we tied earlier when we played yeah. this game. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, got to oh, roll, roll our dice. Roll it up. 
And yeah. I've only got four. I have seven. You will remain first player. Ah, why? Because I, I like the ability to react to what you do. It's funny, in this game, like, I really don't want to be first player. I want to be second or third. Because you want to see what I do. Yeah, I want to be able to potentially undercut you, yeah. outbid you. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, oh, and the event. You oh, yes. Pull the event. Well, yeah. Acceleration program. What does it say, my dear? Ugh, what is happening here? We need skilled operators now. The process isn't cheap or fully tested. But a quick session with the neural enhancement team will let your people hit the ground running. A oh, little, little tweaky tweaky to the brain. Mm -hmm. After the academy is resolved, each player in turn order in turn order may spend two resources to train one colonist. Okay, so that goes here though. So after the academy is resolved, that's funny that they put it as F and not G. Yeah. After the academy is resolved, each player in turn order may spend two resources to train one colonist. Hmm. Okay. So I'm assuming that that means we don't have to go there in order to do this because it says every player can do it. Yeah. So. And resources, remember, are both your energy and your minerals. You can combine those in whichever combination of two that you want for this particular. So instead thing. of turning in a die. You and turn in the resource. Recruit. No, you would do your colonist change for your resources. Oh, yeah, okay. So you still, still train have to one train into the some other yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Well. What you gonna do? I don't like not being first choice in this. <laughs> so, there. There, I say. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us. We are the closer for TLN tonight. And so we might go a little bit over two hours. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody hanging out. Yeah, we should crack out like Caverna or something after this. Yes. <laughs> Y'all aren't busy, right? Like, yeah. Does anyone want to do TI4? You know, it's fine. It's fine. The Merc It's a Sunday well. night. There's nothing There's important nothing happening tomorrow. There's nothing important happening tomorrow. What is Monday? Monday, 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 Monday. Actually, Monday, as in tomorrow, I will be back here with the lovely Baker Meeple and Phantom Meeple, and we are going to be talking to uh, Randy Flynn for Community Connections. Uh, you might nice. know him as the designer of Cascadia, aka the, the winner Spiel of des the Yaris. Spiel des Yaris. Uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna famous. be. Joining us tomorrow for a little fireside chat at 7 p.m. Pacific right here on this channel. He's so. got a new one coming that's getting a lot of a lot of buzz. Yes, Tabriz. So, yeah, that's going to be happening tomorrow night. So, a lot of fun things happening here on the channel. If you want to catch our schedule and everything, uh, just follow us at just underscore CCG. Heart Music Place Cascadia. Yes. And if you're not following, follow right now. Not only for that, but the giveaway... You need to be a follower. Correct. Be here, be a follower, and whisper Jupiter. Yes, 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 yes. Not out loud, on the keyboard. On the keyboard, into the whispers in Twitch. Yeah. Uh, not in the chat. Because we are giving away a copy of this very great game. Yes. Thank you, courtesy of uh, Grand Gamers Guild, for providing that for us. All right. Uh, you put a thing over there. A thing for the things. So I need two more people. I need two more people. And I also would like to have a lot of other things. So I'm going to do this. Okay. But I don't dinner barrel. And I just saw today that I am only seven followers away from 600. Oh. How crazy banana pants is that? Um, Folks. Yeah. Let's how, fix that tonight. Yeah. How crazy is that? If you are not following, we need seven. Come on. Seven people. Let's do this. Seven people. I have join. absolute faith in you, chat, that we can make this happen tonight. Yeah. I mean, for the 600 majority. 600 tonight. Tonight. 600. 
Uh, yeah, I already know a lot of you are already following me and I appreciate that because one, you were entering into the giveaway, but yeah, I am only seven folks away from, uh, that. Uh, Joe Sondell says, I keep whispering Jupiter in my office and nothing's happening. <laughs> well, one, you gotta do it three times well, in the one, dark, in the mirror. I know it's like your cat is named Amethyst. And your other cat is named Nibbler. So if you said Jupiter, they're not going to respond to you, Joe. Because that's not their names. Anyway. Okay. Uh, where did you go? you go? You went there. Okay. Um... Just light some candles, turn the lights off, whisper Jupiter into the mirror. And see what happens. Three times. Three times. You gotta do it three times and see. I mean, we're getting close to October. It's close to spooky season, right? Spooky season. Uh, I want to do this. Ooh. That's such a good one. <laughs> that too, Hornist. Something else might happen if you say that three times. You don't have any engineers. No, I don't. Oh, love. That's the one I wanted. Come on now. You got them toolkits. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. <laughs> yes. Okay. 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 You feel me? Um. I'm gonna do this and get one for free. Oh, you need to help me with there. I don't know, cause you're over here like taking what I want. It's okay. Fine. Does that mean I get both rewards if I'm the only one there? If you get enough. And but do I though? You get both if you if you achieve it. Okay. Well then, yeah. But what if I go over there? You're not going to. What else am I gonna do with this? You're gonna get toolkits. <laughs> Could you just spent one? Cool. That's what I want is toolkits. I need expedition badges. No, you don't. Uh, You're do in I the positive. To... I guess that's just one point that I would basically be giving. Or do you need five? What did we... we had five to get like a couple points, right? Yes. And we'll look still... at all that at there's... the end, but yes, there are points. Yeah, there's for... still more. There's still more time. We got one more. Do I give that to there's you? There's still time. I could come here and get some more energy. I could go over there, but that's super expensive. I don't know that I would actually have enough to do both of those, so. What you doing? Or you can do, you can spend the resources and change a person yeah, into a thing. Yeah, just do it. Yeah. I'm gonna get all the energies. Okay. That's fine. But uh, here we go. We did it. I did it. So even though Jess completed it by herself, I could have come and snuck in with one to try to like you get part have, of this. But you did. But I did. So I get these two peeps and a point. And a point. And an expedition badge. All right, I get all this mess. Yep. I get four of these. Mm-hmm. And you get the other two. Okay. Thank you. And then I outbid you here, so I pay two. You, but. To get this, but you get a relief track. So then I move up here, and I get a person. You get a, a random. A random shake ship recruit. person. Random shake shipper. All right. Mama wants a brand new bag. Oh, that was an engineer. It was first. I saw it. I concur. Free engineer, but dang it, he had nowhere to go. So he's gonna be chilly. 
Ugh. This building is garbage. Here. Okay, so then I go first. I've got a three, so I can recruit up to two people. Um, I definitely want an engineer because that fits there. <sighs> so that costs my whole me two. plans were foiled. Now foil my plans. Do I want to spend for another person? Do you want to spend for people? Oh, question. Do you activate your buildings? You activate your buildings before you you take care of your shelter, right? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, yes. I'm foiled. Do I want another? You've got everybody you named. So I don't know no, I you... don't. I need it. I need. Oh, I do have an engineer. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do the one so I don't okay. pay for somebody. Else. No, I'm not. <laughs> you have to pay four. I would have to pay. So I've already paid two. Okay. So I could pay to get another steward or another marine. I'm gonna do another steward and I'm gonna work on getting a marine. I'm gonna take this steward, and I'm doing that because I'm thinking about the sets that we need at the end of the game. Okay. I needed that steward, you but For what? For my other set. I would have three sets. Oh, that's also a point for why I took it. <sighs> you butt. I'm working on a third set. You are why a butt. Why do you get to have a third set and you not me? You are a butt. So I'm only going to buy for one person. I'm only going to buy this engineer for two. Oof. You butt. You sure you want to do that? One of them's going to die. Or you get, oh, you're going to change because you got that thing. Yeah, that's why I asked about buildings. Because yeah. you're on it. <laughs> okay, uh, and then we have our last one. So you can train somebody to be something else. No. Pretty much everybody I have is like on the thing they need to be. Yeah, no, I don't want to train. Okay, no trains. Oh, and I need energy to take care of my steward anyways. So, no, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Okay, so you can do one swap if you want. Uh, I'm happy nope. with everybody where they're at. Nope. You, you're good? Yep. Okay, uh, your full buildings you can activate. Okay, oh, so I'm going to do a swap. I'm going to do three... Random recruit. Of course. Uh, no, I'll do only do two minerals. Two minerals for two energy. And I get two. Oh, legends! Thank you for hanging out, legends. Sorry, we're not uh helping you fall asleep. That we're too darn entertaining. <laughs> I am gonna turn in these two for a point this time. Uh... And then I have to pay two for my two recruits to make sure so they're So we have to pay heated. two for my two engineers. Okay. Okay. Good? Good. Last round, folks. Okay, so then this goes, this goes away. Then we've got our new expedition. No trespassing. Again, this is a very, like, militant game here. There's yeah. guns. These mercs keep breaching the shield somehow and setting up outposts. Kick them out. What? So this time the rewards are one random recruit, so Jess will get that one out, and one building uh, as the other option. The building will be from the round that we are currently in. So that stack. So it will be one of the four, five, six. Can you show everybody on camera, oh, please? Yes. It is a warmatory. So you have to have three of the same type of recruit in here. Uh, apparently they keep each other warm in the warmatory. <laughs> I was gonna say something delightful like, in winter time, I would like to go visit a warmatory. With exactly the same kind of people as you, apparently. It's a pioneer. Shake ship. Okay, and then we need four. Yeah. Oh, and we need seven. One. Come on, little people. Shake it out. Shake Holy it nice. out. Ooh, ooh, shake it out. And six. Uh, 
of the energy cubes. Again, for why these numbers are different every time, it's all based on what the expedition card tells us in the top left corner. And then plus we get two because of the board, game board. Plus two because of the game board. And then we get two new buildings here. Uh. And a new event. And wha-bam! Hailstorm! Oh no! What the hail? Not the way to end a game. The atmosphere had a tendency to form hailstones bigger than your head. What? And they'd wreak havoc, crackling with static electricity as they fell. The player with the most dice in the gantry and the doorstep combined lose three resources of their choice. So the gantry is here where we build buildings and the doorstep is here where we recruit recruits. So the player with the most dice combined in these two places is going to lose three resources. Ugh. Yeah. Woof. Okay. That's rough. All right. Uh, I That's only rough. have six. How many? Where's how it? many resources do you have? Oh, I totally. I have three. Okay. Guess who's first? You. I'm always first. In our hearts and in this game. Ooh, legends. Wow. That does sound terrible. What sounds terrible? Legends got hit by a hailstorm the size of marbles. Mm. That's not fun. No thanks. What the hail, says Lady T. Okay. Okay, everybody. So I need somewhere to put my person. Peoples. Somewhere to put my peoples. So, would it behoove me to get that? Behoove, good word. Behoovings to get that there. Yes. Okay. Yep, I'm going to do it. Bam. Wow, okay. Bam. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I have struggled to get resources in this game. Last one was so easy. Freebie! Alright. What are you going to do? Going to the doorstep. Going to do some recruiting. Hmm. This is not the round I wanted gigantic dice values. So 
So if I'm looking at this, that one would be worth two points if I put the steward there. This one, I'm not going to have a whole lot of minerals left over. This one, I got one, two, three, four. So that could be worth like three points, maybe. Oof, do I try for the three points or the two points? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Let's do... We'll do this. Take it down one just in case. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Do I want to give you both? You're not going to help me. So just has enough there covered, but... Yep. I've only got four expedition tokens, and expeditions scale. I need five to get points. So currently, four is worth zero points. Right. You five would be worth three. Yeah. So it's worth three points for me to go there. Yeah. So I probably need to do that. Sure. Here we go. So you don't get both. All Sorry. right. That's fine. Okay. Done. Resolve. I win. <laughs> so it's, it's resolved. Okay. I'm gonna take the building because okay. I want it. So I get this. Can I do these two here? Boom. No. And we both get badges. Yes. For completing the exploration, so that getting up to five badges was important because that's the difference of three points or zero. Points. Or zero points, right? Okay. All right. So you get two energy. Two energy. And I get the other three. Okay, so nothing gets lost there. And I get one, one mineral. And I get four. Okay. There you go. Thank you. And that last one is lost. Uh, I pay four. Yeah. Was the rule book really good for this game, says Legends? It's okay. I thought it was really good. Really? Yeah. Because there are some times that I thought... There was like hard to clarify some stuff. There's one potential misprint that I found uh, as we were working through it. So you can send different kinds of recruits out to the expeditions with you and they do different things based on what type they are. Um, and the steward, the purple character, on the player board it says if you send one of those with a one or a two, and this is getting real specific, if you send it with a one or a two value die, you, if you earn a reward, you gain a victory point. Right. So if you get... Right. That's how it sounds. But when you read the rule book, it tells you that if you are first to choose a reward, mm -hmm. so you have to have had not only dedicated that one or two die value with your steward, but you're probably going to have to dedicate another die value so that you have the highest pip count. Yes. Um, so, so that's it, not very clear. It, that's the only thing I thought was a little off. Otherwise, I think the book's pretty good. Okay. Uh, that's just me. I don't know if anybody else has read it, but in the beginning, they've got like a pretty good synopsis of the basic rules. Like, if you were going to try to bring this out after having not played it for a few months or whatever, there's a real quick list mm. of the important things to remember. So, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Okay, did you pay your minerals um, for oh, that Oh, and building? I got this building, so I am dropping these guys in. Did you pay your minerals? I did. Okay. And then, okay, so you can recruit for your one. You get I wanted a one. steward. Dang it. I wanted a steward. You don't have to take anything, like if you'd rather not no, pay I, for anything. Yeah. Yeah, 
Because that's more valuable if I don't. Three, three. Yeah. Yeah. No, nope, I'm not going to. I mean, I guess, so these are worth no points. If you recruit one, anything, mm -hmm. you would have, would you have a three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you have a four and a four. Oh, okay. Then never mind. Yeah, you couldn't get a point for like having a leftover three. We'll talk about that in a second, but there might have been a value in getting... Or maybe I should. Maybe it... I'll just buy... Yeah, maybe I'll just buy one just for the sake of having it. Oh, don't put it there, though, love. You want this guy to go there, right? I know, but I, I only have one swap. Oh, gotcha. So I would need to put him here and then, and then swap. swap him. So that's two energy for that. Okay. This game and the game room 51 was playing are both the ones I might need to look into maybe getting. Yeah, so... Legends, we really like this. And like we said, it's really good. It's a solo. There's a solo mode as well in this game. It plays up to five. Um, so it's a fairly easy. small footprint. I mean, the board, I mean, I have it zoomed in. The camera's very zoomed in. But honestly, if this is like, it's foldable. So I don't know. What would you compare this board size to? Oh, this is like it's a like, tiny board. It's like a, like a... I don't know. It's two... Like an 8 by 10 or yeah, something? Yeah, it's two pieces of paper, like the normal... Yeah. Well, that A4 if you're not in the States. Right. Or 8.5 by 11. Yeah. It's it's two of those beside each other, and that's the entire board. It's really well done. I mean, the iconography on the board to remind you of... What happens How to set when... things up is really good. Yeah. I think they did a good development job on this one. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I got... Okay, so you did... I'm going to take one person okay. with my five. Okay, so now... And then nobody did Academy, so... Nobody did Academy. Oh, we didn't do this. We didn't do this. Oh. The event. And that's me, because I had two dice there, and you only had one. You, use three, you lose three of your choice. Yeah, so I'll lose these three. Okay, all right. Hey, Gameritis is here. Oh, wait, Welcome I don't in. want this guy. No, 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 no. Welcome in, Gameritis. I don't want... Okay, but you still paid your other resources. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we go through and resolve stuff. Okay. Oh, so first we do one last activate all your buildings, do your swaps. Oh, yeah, and I'm do my swap. So I am going to swap, 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 swap. Swap them in, and then all of my scoring points at the end game are... Oh, but I want... Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, and then... So now... Activate any fully staffed buildings. So I do. You said you said resources don't count for anything. So I get a rando. Right. Uh, five to one for points. Okay. So I have five, six, seven. Dang it. Uh, activate, so I get two. Wait, items. where did this one? This was just left over? Yeah. Okay. Oops. That just left over. And then I can spend two, but I don't have two. Okay, so that's our fully staffed building. Pay one energy, pull a cost in your shelter. I have one, so I lose. I pay one yeah. energy. Now we go into final scoring. So, Christian, cool. Thank you so much for that. Hanging out and lurking. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for stopping by and saying hey. hi. Thanks for being here. Yeah, okay, so what? All right, so we're going to go down the final scoring list. So for every five energy cubes you have, you get one point. I only have two. I only have two. So that's nothing. That's nothing. For every five minerals you have, you get one point. I have seven. So you get one point, and I have none, okay. so no points. Okay. Fully staffed buildings. So these are our end game scoring points. The above ground uh, uh, buildings. Oh, wait. So I could have done this one, right? Yes. Okay. So I could have done this one and I didn't Yeah, because then you, your two would become one. Because so then I would have it. two. Thank you. So yeah, I would get so one So burn point. those. Okay. Fair All right. Enough. Thank you. Yeah, normally it's five to one, but Jess has a building that allows it to be two for one. So okay. definitely thank go you. for that. Okay, so our fully staffed points buildings. You do yours. Show show everybody. All right. It's kind of off screen here. Yeah. So I have the Snowcat Garage. 
It is two points straight up, so I'll get those two. Uh, plus I could spend toolkits for uh, moving people around. I didn't need to do that, so I'm fine. I don't need to spend any of my toolkits and I'm gonna save them because they're gonna be useful in a little bit. Okay. So that's good. Also, my next one is the threshold footprint. So it's worth one point plus one point for every two engineers that I have. So you I have, have two. five engineers. Oh, engineers that you have, not just on that building. Correct. Oh. So that's two points for this part plus the so one. So three. So three total. Nice. <gasps> Joe, you're ro roasting Brussels sprouts. Are you roasting them with bacon? Oh, you need me to roast them with bacon. That's what I'm just saying. I introduced Quaid to roasting Brussels sprouts with bacon, and I changed his life. Just saying. If you have not done that, although if you're if you don't eat bacon, that's totally fine. Um, but like any sort of like lard, fatty, grease so good thing. With bacon. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, uh, see, everybody's agreeing with me. Absolutely. On that. Okay. All right, and then I have the oh, Explorers have the same League thing. So I get one point and then one point for every two pioneers that I have. So I have one, two, three, four, five pioneers. So because that's three two points more points. There. So three points total for that one. Yeah. Oh, and chopped onions too, says Gameritis. Nice. Yes, I agree. Nice. Joe says he likes bacon and kale. I haven't had bacon and Ooh, kale. I like bacon and everything. Yeah, that's true. We should just add bacon and everything in life. Okay, so that's in all life. of mine. Okay. What do you got? Uh, all right, so I've got this strong point with, four, with my two Marines. It just gives me straight up four points. Boom, boom. And then with my warmatory. All them cuddles. Warmatory, I have three of the alike. So I get three points if I have all the same type of colonists there. So that's three extra points. Legends yeah. had chimichangas and tamales today. That sounds awesome. Uh, and that's all my buildings. What there. did we have? We had crab cakes for dinner. We had crab cakes for dinner. With some mixed veg and some wild rice. Yep. It's very good. Yep. Okay, uh, so that's all yours? All my buildings. So you're currently ahead by one point. Okay. All right, now, based on the count of buildings that we have, we get points. So I have six buildings total. Okay. That's five points. Two, four, five. And, and I have five buildings. That's three, three points. points. Two, three. Okay. All right. Now we do our sets of people. So no longer does it matter that we have them assigned. So okay. up until this point, you need to make sure they're assigned in the correct places. Now you can get all of your people out and start building sets out of them. Let's put them on the table so they can see. Okay. So I got... All my little peoples. All my little peoples. Five of those homies. Three there. Three there. And Boom. Okay, so three, 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 three. I've got four. And then I've got four extras. Okay. All right, so I have three complete sets. Each set is worth three points. So that's nine points. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay. You have two? Two complete six. sets. Two, four, six. And then every uh, recruit that we have that wasn't able to be applied to a set uh, it's three recruits for one extra point. Okay. So I have four, so that will be one extra point. Total. Same with me, one extra point. Okay. All right, expedition badges. So this is where if you only had zero or one, if you didn't really go for expeditions, it's minus it's three. It's minus three points. So I have so one, I two, have three, four, five, six. So I have five, which is worth three, two, three, and Jess has six, which is also worth three. And then the person with the most toolkits, I have six. I have five. So I get two points for no! that. No! Dang it! And Dang it! Uh, I win. But that's close, love. That's still that close. That is very close. Very close. Game writer said he made chicken nachos with baked cut-up tortilla chips, house-made nacho cheese sauce, home pickled jalapenos, and shredded up Costco chicken you bought for that day. When I have a craving, I tend to build more from scratch. Um, I'm coming over because that sounds amazing. Uh, five out of the six streamers today I met in person. Yay. Yay, legends. And extra sour cream. Yeah. 
Uh, no, it was it was all right. It was super close though, Lady T. Um, not my finest moments, but you're also hosting. I was also hosting a stream and gonna do a giveaway and all that fun stuff. So it's tricky to play. Yeah, on stream it is. But there we are, friends. That, that is the Artemis. That project. is the Artemis project. So I'm gonna you go back up here. You can win this game. Up here, and give you all just like one more minute to uh, add in if you want to enter into the giveaway while we just kind of clear off a little space, if you wouldn't mind just clearing off some space so I can show everybody. Uh, space. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us tonight for this final game uh, for the TLN Marathon this weekend. Of Space Timber. Space Timber, everybody. So if you want to enter final space game? In... Are you playing No, no. I will be playing some space. I don't know what I'm playing on Wednesday. It's still TBD to be playing on Wednesday. And then Friday, I'm determined to do more on the puzzle because y'all in the chat are super, super awesome. Uh, and giving me some like good vibes when I make when I build out this puzzle. So it has been super awesome to have you all uh, there while I stream it. So I'm continuing to do a puzzle, I think, uh, until either we finish it off stream or I finish it on stream. So who knows? Uh, so yeah, there we go. Oh, Tate! So nice to see you! Hey, Tate! Uh, yeah, I, I hope you're doing well and, um, enjoying all of your playtesting and stuff. And thank you, Phantom. That's so sweet of you to say. Um, Legends bought Cat Sudoku last month. Awesome! Thank you for all the TLN hype. Hello, Ruel. Yes, good luck, everybody. I'm gonna give everybody like another 30 seconds or something to get their names in. And uh, okay. there we go for a copy of this awesome game. I'm going to uh, do the nice giveaway now here. So it is- Can I enter? You can enter for a copy of the game that we already own. Yes. Thank you, Joe, for popping in how folks can enter. Uh, thank you, Panda. So sweet of you to say. Um, looking forward to hanging out with you soon. Um, so, yeah, everybody, this is your final chance to get in. Oh, Tate, stop. So I just love everybody's just so awesome here in this community. So awesome. So awesome. Uh, yeah, so I think I think we've got everybody's names in here. And I will call it now. Okay, no more entries. Everybody. It's closed. It is closed. The entry is closed. I am going to go back to the table screen so you all can see. Spin that wheel. And remember, folks, this game is going to be sent to you when the new printing is fulfilled, which the publisher said would be early next year. Early next year. So it's like you're entering into a um, Kickstarter. Yeah. Basically. Uh, yes, Tate's new game about constellations is called In the Stars. It is fantastic. I have got to play test it, um, and it is wonderful. If you have not gotten to play test it and you live in the LA area, please check out the next gaming meetup that Tate is going to be running. Um, follow him on social media and he will be out there demoing his heart out. Although he will be at Spiel um, in the next week. So yes, Legends, it is fantastic. It is such a creatively clever game and I can't wait until it actually gets out. So yeah. Of course, Tate, you're still going to send me a prototype so I can play it on stream. Uh, just saying. <laughs> anyway, friends, let's get going on this giveaway before we call it a night. So here we go. Everyone, good luck. And we're spinning the wheel. <laughs> it is Soften Your Razor. Razor. Congratulations. 
and your razor, please. Uh, I will send you a whisper back. Congratulations. Into the chat for that. You're going to space. You're going to space. <laughs> But uh, yes, this has been so awesome. Congratulations. Enjoy, enjoy your copy of the Artemis Project that's coming to you. Watch out for those space jellyfish. Exactly right, Lady T. They're And they're, if this uh, looks fun, stingy. go check out the pledge manager and see what they're doing. True, 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 um, true. Let me pop that into the chat. So everybody, if you are like, you know what? I kind of just want to get this game. That pledge manager link in the chat has the uh, expansion for the Artemis project as well as you can get a copy of the base game itself and all the things in the Artemis realm there. Uh, so check that out. And thanks again to Grand Gamers Guild courtesy of giving away a copy of the Artemis project. Yeah. It has been delightful. Thank you friends so much for joining me here for the final night of the TLN Marathon. Uh, I hope you all have been following all the wonderful people that have been doing all of the things for so many, so many hours. And um, TLN would not be possible without all of you um, here in the chat with us. So I think I'm going to send you over to the delightful, the wonderful Kestrel. She is currently playing some ooblets right now and ooblets if you all do not know is a fantastic game uh it's a video game and it's a cross between like stardew valley and animal crossing and i blame sl slivers for getting me to buy this game because it's addicting yes legend knows he's addicted to it um yeah thank you thank you everybody thank you to my partner not gus for joining me tonight and yeah so i'm gonna send you all over on the ray train over to her give her all the love all the follows all the emotes friends thank you for making tln possible uh i appreciate you all for hanging out with us as we were the closer for tonight closer the, what was that was that supposed to be a dab was that <laughs> what what's is the, this what is it what's the wrestling moves i don't know the, the clothesline. The clothesline, right? Because we're going to put clothes on people. Can you smell what we're closing? We can't smell what you're closing. No, because it's a video stream. There's no... <laughs> just scratch the screen. Just scratch just scratch the screen and you'll... you good scream? Scratch the screen and you'll smell space, everybody. There you go. There you go. Uh, yeah. All right, friends. Uh, until next time, enjoy your board games, be kind to one another, and we'll see you on the next marathon. Bye, everybody. Bye.